we're staying home for this Rick's road trip to unbox and review the Mach Will Scoria electric bike. How did we get from this to this? Well, what are we waiting for? It's not going to put itself together. Let's cut this box open and get to work. There it is. Looks like they uh, did a real good job packaging. More work to be done. Let's undo all this stuff. So here is our Mach Will Scoria, all unboxed. Uh, did a tremendous job with the packaging. It looks to be in good shape. They packaged it pretty well. We need to, basically three things. The handlebars, the front wheel with the light, and the pedals and the seat. I think that's all we have to do. When you receive your shipment, this box is inside. I call it the necessities box because it has everything necessary to put the bike together. This should be the manual right here. Yes, it is. We've got some wrenches. Back here we have the pedals. That's where the pedals are. Yes, I believe that is the charger. So, that's your necessities box. Now, the real work begins. So I don't have a lot of experience. I would say, you know what? I have zero experience putting an e-bike together. I'm just gonna take my time. It's not a competition. No one has a clock on me. So let's just be patient and put it together. It seems fairly simple. Handlebars, front wheel, pedals basically so the first thing we need to do is remove the stem cover i found the right allen wrench so we have to take this off to put on the handlebars that is step two step one was actually just unpacking so we've completed step one i think that's how i like it let's give it another check Good for now, we can always adjust it. Okay, for the front wheel assembly, let's put this baby upside down. Get to putting this front wheel on. You see this right here? This is the braking system. It has to slide in right there first. Make sure we do that right. Okay. That's on. We just gotta bolt it down. First the washers. Washer goes there, washer goes there, and well, we will tighten everything up later. Just finger tight for now, I think. Okay, I think we can flip it back over and do the pedals. Each pedal is labeled R for right, L for left. And this tells you the way to tighten it. Because with the pedals, it's not going to be automatically righty tighty. 
the left one is going to be a little a little different so again we'll tighten everything at the end this is the one that's going to seem odd to tighten because it's not righty tighty there's little arrows there to show you how to do it tighten that bolt there time to put on the seat the seat that came with it i have a surprise for you guys later on though regarding the seat and some other cool accessories so we'll just slide it in here right there it's kind of the highest it can go and we'll just clip that in and you can tighten this a little more if it's not tight enough we're just doing the little clamp thing but that's good for now and there is my mock wheel scoria all put together i just need to go around and tighten everything that i put on so give me a moment and we'll do all that all right there she is my new mock wheel scoria all assembled it was pretty easy like i said just take your time it's not a competition it's not a a race i don't really have a lot of uh, assembly notes it was pretty easy starting with the handlebars just to make sure they're straight and then the front wheel what you want to do see this is part of the braking system and the uh the brake pads go in here so you just want to make sure you slide that uh braking disc into the uh, the proper slot so that the brake pads can engage that's the only trick to that the uh the pedals were super easy there's even you know there's instructions right there that kind of tell you how to screw them in and the seat was super easy so overall a pretty easy assembly experience we'll take it for a test ride as well and then after the test ride guess what i have the deluxe accessory package for this bike this is just how it comes right out of the box just normally but uh i have an accessory package we will put all that stuff on and you know check it out with all that on it a slight change of plans as we had some rain roll through so that has delayed our test ride, but I took advantage of the time and put on some of the accessories. You can order accessories individually from Mockwheel, or they have some preset packages. I happen to have the deluxe accessory package. Put on a few items. Let me show you what's over here on the workbench though. The deluxe accessory package comes with a, a nice bike helmet right there. This is a bike cover for like the rain. Comes with a set of mirrors. This is a folding lock and this is a trunk bag. Now, already put on the bike as it was raining, the front basket. That was a must have for my wife, Nikki. She thinks it's so adorable, makes the bike look even cuter with that front basket. The deluxe accessory package comes with a phone holder for your smartphone, a bottle holder as well, and a must have for me, and probably Nikki too, an extra large padded saddle seat. A little uh, larger and probably more comfortable than the one that comes with it. And this cool suspension pole, so a little extra shock absorbing there. The preset accessory packages are the basic accessory package, the advanced, and what you're looking at right now, the deluxe. And I think the weather has cleared, so finally, we can take this baby for a test ride. Well, look who made it just in time for the test ride. 
Come over here. Tell me what you think about this, baby. Let me just start off by the color scheming. Uh, the green and the wood grain, and then the tan wheels. Mm -hmm. So beautiful, so sleek. Love the accessory with the bigger seat, <laughs> for sure. I know that front basket's an, like, an accessory. It's, it's so versatile, so um, well, I really love it. When we were looking online and they have the pictures rotate and it, the picture rotated to the one with the basket on it, that's when you fell in love with it. The BMX style handlebars are awesome. This is the only model from Mockwell that has the BMX style handlebars. So I love that. I love the step through design. Instead of having the bar high nicking, yes. I love the step through. I love, love, love the brown wall tires. Especially when you see them with the, uh, the rear shelf there because the color matches almost perfectly. So that looks good. I love this color too. Kind of a military green. Well, and the other thing about the versatility of this bike is that the the height range goes from like kind of where I'm at, which is I mean I'm five four, but it goes down as low as what five, five feet, five feet, yeah. and then as tall as six two. So six me, two. I'm like the largest size for this bike. Yeah, it's great because it fits like both of us. Yeah. Oh, I love the mag wheels too. Yeah. I love sure. the mag wheels. It's a beautiful, beautiful design. And the Scoria is one of their models that has the big fat tires. So I love the fat tires. Again, the coloring almost looks like a, you know, military colors. Like it's a, a Marine Corps bike, <laughs> quite honestly. It also comes in red, white, and blue. I almost got the white so it would match my Jeep. But we'll get into more of a technical review as we drive it around. So, you ready for a ride, honey? For sure. Lucky for us, our neighborhood has a direct connect onto the West Orange Trail. Yes. <laughs> Very convenient. <laughs> Nikki has on the helmet from the deluxe accessory package. Super comfy. Safety first for her. Yep. All right, girl. And we got the seat adjusted for you. Here are your controls. Now, to turn it on, this is your power button. Just hold it, okay, and it'll turn on or off. Mm -hmm. It's already on for you. These buttons right here for your pedal assist. Okay. So I have it set for two, but if you want to go all the way up to like five, you'd press up. You want to go down to one, you'd press down. Mm -hmm. uh, this is for your light. Here's your horn. <laughs> <laughs> another okay. feature, another feature we really like, the Fun. horn. Uh, this is for, this is your thumb throttle. Okay. Okay, so if you don't want to pedal, just uh, use the power of the bike. Okay. With the thumb throttle there. Nice. Uh, this is the front brake. This is the rear brake. I use them both at the same time. Here's your gear shifter. Uh-huh. Uh, one on this side, one on that side to go up or down. Okay. You shouldn't have to change gears. Okay. Uh, and I have it set for pedal assist two. Uh, it's hard to see the little dashboard, but you got full power. It'll tell you how fast you're going. So these bands right here are your power? Uh, yeah, that's the battery power. So okay. uh, as you use battery power, that would go down, 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 down. But got you. fully charged right now. Awesome. You got your comfy ergonomic designed squishy. handle grips. Super squishy. Love it. So, let's see you in action. So fun. Oh my goodness. The pedal assist is great. I really, really like that pedal assist. So fantastic, I love it. It's really a lot of fun. Well, now it's my turn. I'm gonna take everyone for a ride and give them some more technical specs on this bike. If you think you might be interested in any of the Mock Wheel e-bikes, I have an affiliate link in the description box. Please use that. There is free shipping on all online orders. There's a 15 day trial. All mock wheel products can be returned within 15 days of purchase. Also a two year warranty. Please note the two year limited warranty applies to all purchases made from authorized channels of mock wheel. Just use the affiliate link in the description box and you'll be all set with that two year warranty. There's also an option of paying monthly via a firm if you qualify. Mm -hmm. 
Now some technical specs on the Mach Wheel Scoria. This bike is best for people 5 feet tall to 6 feet 2 inches tall. I just happen to be 6 feet 2 and 235 pounds, so I am like the max size for this bike. This bike weighs 70 pounds and has a payload capacity of 350 pounds. It has a 750 watt brushless rear hub motor and a UL Samsung 48 volt battery. Mockwheel states that the Scoria has a range of 60 to 80 miles. Speed wise, it has a torque sensor and can reach up to 25 miles per hour on pedal assist level five. And if you're going that fast, you might appreciate the hydraulic disc brakes on this bike. The front fork is a 110 millimeter adjustable suspension. The handlebar height measured from the ground to the top of the handlebars is 44.1 inches. The total length of the bike is 66.9 inches. The tires are 20 times 4 inches puncture resistant fat tires. The frame is a 6061 aluminum alloy with internal battery. Yep, the battery fits right into the frame. There is a charge port so it can be charged while still in the frame or the battery can be easily removed and charged outside the frame. Mockwheel also sells a solar panel accessory and the battery can be charged via that solar panel. Another cool accessory for the Scoria is the power inverter. You can connect their power inverter to this bike and have your bike power things such as your phone, your laptop, a blender, a coffee maker, a TV, a mini fridge, and so on. My overall first impressions of the Mockwheel Scoria is, first of all, I love the look. It has a very slick look to it. I love the way it handles, the way it drives, the acceleration, the braking, just to put it in the simplest terms, it's just fun to ride. I'm so happy I have it in my life now. How are you feeling about the Mockville Scoria after that test drive, Nikki? Um, I am low-key obsessed. I love it. It is a blast to ride super easy. Mm -hmm. um, wasn't confusing at all with, you know, all the buttons and everything. <laughs> I, I was able to get it, you know. Yeah, you picked um, up pretty fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, like riding a bike. <laughs> totally enjoyable though. Yeah. I mean, you know, for the distance it covers, for the amount of effort that, you know, physical effort that it's gonna mm -hmm. have to put in, uh, it's so great. With that torque sensor, it's really great. Yes. When you've got pedal assist. Uh -huh. And then uh, if you wanna just use the throttles, awesome, mm -hmm. so. Uh, it's easy to use and just to, to get around in and it's it's just so good looking, so adorable. It really is adorable. I mean, and to think of all the uses for it, mm -hmm. you know, just tooling around, you know, having fun at, or going to the grocery store, picking something up really quick if it's, you know. Yes. I mean, it's, it, I, you, you know what I'm going to do with it. What you going to do with I'm it? I'm taking it to the beach. <gasps> oh, but. <laughs> beach ride. <laughs> nice. But anyway, there are links in the description box, affiliate links. Uh, just check those out. Learn more about all the offerings that Mockwell has. We love the Scoria. I oh, love it. And um, what else to say, Nikki? But adventure is out there. You'll find it on a road trip <laughs> and on a bike. It's gonna be a good day, good day. Making Nikki show. Love.